With the miracle of video, I could lie to you. I could tell you the Apache Max was an easy project and got it done just as we thought it would. <laughs> but, you know, I'll tell you right now, that is not what happened. The Apache Max was a workout. It took three times as much time as we thought it should, created twice as many headaches, and uh, put a really good sized dent in my wallet. I feel like I've become a member of some kind of secret order of builders now that I've survived the Apache build. The Secret Order knows it's way too easy to park and throw a tarp over your problems than to finish them. In the end, it was worth it, and I think most who see the Apache Max agree. And even if it doesn't win, it puts on a really good show. So this is the final Apache Max build video. We're closing our book, so to speak. Before we sign off, we wanted to give you a guided tour of the truck, a Motor Trend style review, maybe, of what it's like to be behind the wheel of the Apache Max on the road. First thing you notice about driving this truck after the noise is that it's got a Detroit locker in the back and 456 gears, which makes a truck that would otherwise be kind of a handful to drive. Pretty much a true test of your manual transmission ship. Uh, any turn wants to stall, scrub the tires, it's work. Uh, anytime you're, you're shifting or using lower gears, especially with a triple disc clutch, gets to be a little jerky. Now this truck is only 6,000 pounds so it's really light and the throttle also kind of sensitive so you start giving a throttle it really wants to pick up and go quick and when it does it just wants to pick that front end up and get kind of into a handful for you. You can see how wide my legs have to be just to fit around the steering wheel and then it's tight you know to the seat too so just to get good clutch action and get a good spot on the floor for your heel you know that triple disc clutch is really aggressive so you got to have a good spot on the floor for your heel and it's uh it's a little bit awkward with this short play between so i usually start the truck in third gear and uh, starting in third gear seems to work seems to work pretty nice it takes a little bit extra clutch work and throttle work but At least you can get up to 20 miles an hour before you got to shift. You can hear that noise, that squeak, that's the triple disc clutch. You know, I wanted something I could take home and, and drive to work and back and, not, and whatnot, but I also wanted something I could, that I could drive uh, at the pull. You know, similar to these guys in the work stock class. They pull their trucks on the weekends and they use them for work during the week. Not that this truck really gets worked, but I wanted something that I could cruise during the week and uh, run in the work stock class on the weekends. Normally these trucks come with these gigantic steering wheels and it's because they didn't have power steering from the factory. Now, this truck has hydro boost, so it has power steering. Um, so you have this kind of a big lever on the shaft for the steering operation. So it makes it really, you know, cushy to drive. You don't really get much feedback from the steering, but it's really easy to steer. I think there's a lot of guys out there who kind of dream they could, uh, they could do the same thing. And, uh, you know, I can, I can definitely relate to that. So a lot of questions about, you know, can I do this to my 85 or to my 75 or my Apache? And, uh, you know, it's fun to talk to you guys about that stuff. It's fun to be engaged in the sport.